Hi everyone, today I want to show you how to build your own bookmarks terminal manager. Um, this video builds on a few previous concepts. I will put the links to the videos in the description, but if you haven't watched, go ahead and check out how to build your own NeoVim modules and introduction to Tmax. We are going to heavily rely on Tmax and NeoVim uh, to create this feature. So let's get started. So why do we need it? Um, I've tried a few solutions, existing solutions for bookmarks. Um, you can think of bookmarks like the ones in your browser. Simply a description pointing to a URL. In our case, terminal bookmarks is a description pointing to a file or a directory. There's quite a few options you can choose from. You can uh, have any terminal-based file browser um, to help you with bookmarks. And most of them, like Ranger or more modern ones, uh, come with similar features. But then you don't really have the same in NeoVim. Um, you can, of course, just have a plain list and kind of jump to files, but this lacks a little bit of polish and automation. Um, so, for me specifically, I very heavily rely on Tmax in all my workflows and I almost all the time am inside of NeoVim. So, I wanted to be able to kind of combine those two. On the NeoVim side, you might heard about plugins like Harpoon or Arrow that do something similar, but again, this is kind of just NeoVim specific and for my purposes, it's not exactly how I wanted to do it. So the idea behind the bookmark system from my perspective is just to have simple plain text list file where you can store and edit your bookmarks. And that's it. So most of my philosophy around terminal based workflows revolves around having your stuff in a text format, ideally plain, plain text or markdown because you can edit it easily, save, backup, version, share, it's your data. So whenever I can, I come back to this philosophy and bookmarks uh, are not different. So this is a little bit of motivation, why I came up with this process. And if you are like me, having relying on Tmax or other terminal multiplexer, I'm sure you will uh, find something useful for yourself in this workflow. So just to drive the point home, if you often have these issues, like I remember I had a file somewhere with some kind of config, but I don't remember exactly where, and you keep on searching, you know, that's the idea where you really need some form of bookmarks. I have this issue because I have a lot of different CLIs and they have their own configs and uh, they're not always in the same space, in the same place uh, on my file system. Um, also, if you find yourself often struggling with kind of two separate workflows, so at one end you might be in, term in NeoVim or other text editor and sometimes you're not and you need a quick access to your file to check something or to edit it. And then again, you might be tired of just typing those paths over and over or using a tool maybe like pet snippets or others, which don't exactly serve the same purpose. So if you find yourself having this problem, uh, then I hope that uh, what I will show you will inspire you to create something similar. So my solution is uh, very simple. It integrates with Tmax session and integrates with NeoVim. We will see this later in the demo, but just to explain really briefly, I have bookmarks that I can show in a kind of script that manages my terminal sessions in Tmax, and I can create a terminal Tmax session based off of a bookmark. Whether this is a file or a folder, it will create it and I can do something there, close it or just jump between the sessions. In NeoVim, this workflow is very similar, but it's more NeoVim centric. So while I'm already in NeoVim, I might just want to open a file and just do something with it, or I might edit the bookmarks folder itself. So that's the basic tenets of the workflow. So the features uh, really are simple. So unified storage, as I mentioned, 
simple text file. I can access it from NeoVim or from, its own, from Terminal itself. It handles files versus directories seamlessly. I don't need to pay attention which one is which. Provides me very simple CRUD operations. It's just a file, right? So I literally can sort, order, delete um, everything I want. And it provides a little um, extra uh, for adding a new bookmark, um, which I just don't need to go in the file and copy it, but I can add existing file. And it utilizes a rich CLI ecosystem. In my case, I am using FDF, like with most of my scripts that integrate with Terminal, uh, <coughs> to add and manage bookmarks from within the Terminal, and I'm using Telescope. Um, there's also a new uh, kit on the blog, and I don't remember the name, but uh, it's, um, I think, um, Snack, Snack NVIM, something like that. Um, that supposedly is similar to Telescope, uh, people say better. I stick to Telescope, it's um, it's alright, but doesn't matter which picker you choose, it's important to integrate the workflow with your existing tools. So my two tools of choice are FZF and Telescope. So again, just to show you exactly NeoVim or Terminal, and in the middle we have a shared bookmarks. So the file, the what I chose to represent the bookmarks is very simple. You have description, semicolon, and the path to file or directory. Super easy. Um, I didn't put that much thought in it. It could be that I will need to escape somehow the semicolon or maybe change it, but I didn't want to put a complex structure like JSON. I just want it to be a plain text. And for now, I don't imagine adding semicolons as part of the description of what the folder or file is about. So I am happy with it for now. And this is human readable, super easy to parse, and has absolutely no overhead, uh, like it's not a database or a complex structure like YAML or JSON. So um, let me make it a little bit smaller, just to, so you can see the diagram here. Um, so just to summarize what I said, I hope you can see it large enough. So I can add bookmarks from the terminal. When I do this, the script, in this case, um, my sessionizer, that's how I call it. It's just a script that helps me manage my Tmux sessions. It actually writes a bookmark to a file and that's about it. And then I can open the file in NeoVim or I can open a folder. And this is a new Tmux session. So that's one entry point. And then using a bookmark, uh, I will show you this in a second. Um, I can either do this from inside of NeoVim or Terminal. All right. So let's switch to a demo and uh, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger again. So you guys can see better. And that's probably good enough. So let's see that I want to um, create a new session from Bookmark. In my case, I have a key binding Alt X that gives me this little uh, window. I actually want to make it a bit smaller so it's you can see it everything. So here, this is just a script that helps me manage my session. So I can list my sessions. I am using Zoxide. So you can see this is just a list of folders and sessions. I already have two sessions here at the bottom, terminal bookmarks and bookmark demo. And those are various folders sorted in uh, order of how often I use them. And here it control L, you cannot see it, but it says bookmarks. So if I hit control L, you can see it shows all the bookmarks. They happen to be sorted alphabetically from the bottom to top. And first bookmark is the file itself. So when I hit enter, uh, it opens a file in NeoVim and it names the session from the file. So this is all my bookmarks that I use. So some cloud bookmarks, some NeoVim, Task Warrior, and so on. When I close it, the session is closed and I'm back to Tmux uh, as I were earlier. So that's very easy. So in this sessionizer, as I call it, the script, I can open any folder any file and currently now any bookmark uh, in a new session. So again, control L, I am not using control B because this is a um, key binding that is reserved by Tmux and I didn't want to change it. But let's see um, if we can find actually 
a folder. So I can see here we have task hooks and I can also type it task hooks. So this is not a file, this is a bookmark to folder. So when I hit enter again, it actually creates a session with various task hooks. So those are task warrior hooks. I have a few videos about task warrior if you're interested to learn more about it. And the same principle applies. I can hit Alt E in my case, and this ends the existing session. So I can simply select hooks and then it's gone. So this is very simple and very powerful. So I can come here. I'm not in new of him yet. I just opened a um, Tmax and I can create sessions from those bookmarks. Very, very useful. I don't need to remember where the files are, where the folders are, and I have an isolated session I can work with. However, let's see, I am inside of NeoV. So I have a VN, which is an alias, which N simply by that uh, opens a random temporary file. So we can just do it like that. So we just have an empty buffer. So now I have bunch of various key bindings. In my case, they are all under B, so leader, letter B, and you can see add current file to bookmarks, add folder to bookmarks, delete or edit. So if I hit edit, you can see I am just editing the same file. So that's nothing, nothing crazy here, nothing new. Um, what else we can do? We can list all bookmarks. Very similar like you've seen me doing in Tmax, but now I'm doing the same from inside of NeoVim. So let's say we, we do the task open and I just edit it as, um, but it doesn't create a new session. I am editing it in the current NeoVim buffer. So how am I doing it? How, how does it look like? Let's dig a little bit deeper uh, in, in various scripts. So Sessionizer, it is a quite big script, 214 lines of code, um, but uh, it's not that difficult if you think about it. Uh, so we can see here, um, maybe LSP definitions. No, they can't find definitions. There are various functions here. Uh, so we can see here this get fzf prompt, uh, you know, fzf code. Took me a while to, to write it, and it's not a trivial script, but um, there's plenty of similar scripts, and you can just grab it, copy paste, and edit it yourself, or SKI to edit for you, uh, and add whatever functionality you want. But you can see here, we have this bookmarks bind. And the bookmarks bind, um, tells um, FZF in this case, what command do we want to execute? And it simply loads this bookmarks conf file. So it's not really that difficult. Uh, it's a little bit of FZF scripting uh, and ability to create a session um, once we are done. So let's uh, look at user functions. I think bookmarks Lua, yeah. So. This is a NeoVim module, so it's a little bit more complicated. I have a video uh, showing you how you can create your own user functions library with NeoVim modules, which is like a in-between step between creating an actual full-blown plugin. You don't need to publish a plugin. You can just have your own module and load them on demand. And that's how I do most of my NeoVim automation, which I don't want to share uh, as a official, so to say, plugins. So you can look at the code yourself, but it's very similar to what the Tmax does. This is just geared towards working with um, with NeoVim, and you can see here Telescope. We are um, integrating here with Telescope and being able to show bookmarks on display with Telescope pickers. So I'm kind of relying on the existing tools. In the Tmax example, we were relying on FCF. In this example, we're relying on Telescope, and I find this workflow extremely flexible and useful. I very often kind of enter from either Tmax or NeoVim, depends where I am, and it's very quick, um, and I do this all the time. Uh, so if you find it useful, 
I hope you can either just copy mm, the exact code and uh, adjust paths maybe or something and make it work for your use case or maybe better just get inspired with building something on your own um, this is not um, exactly super simple it's almost 300 lines of code and 214 lines of code within for the script and for um, for the Lua file respectively uh, so there is some work that went into it um, you can always use AI to help you with certain aspects of the file. If you are using AI like Copilot or something inside of your file, or if you're using agentic AI like Claude, uh, I had a video about it. My thoughts are generally try not to use it from the very beginning. Try yourself just a little bit. And then once you understand what you're doing, uh, you can of course uh, use it and to make it a little bit faster but that's it so that's what i wanted to show you here is a few um resources so telescope and fzf if you're not using fzf you're missing out uh, in the terminal it's an indispensable building block and here is a link to my sessionizer script that you can grab and and work with there are also other scripts i assume better um, written by people who actually create tmax um, plugins uh, and maybe they have uh, a bit more traction, a bigger community and less uh, less errors. You can check whatever scripts you're, you're happy with. Uh, but that's the workflow and I find it really, really interesting. Um, very powerful for my use cases as I went all in on Tmax, all in on NeoVim. And wherever I introduce a new automation in my workflow, uh, terminal focused workflow I always think about those two tools like how can I utilize them how can I integrate more stuff with them and this has become um, a very interesting and uh, fulfilling process so um, as always um, thank you for watching if you have um, maybe your own tools I would be happy to to hear what scripts are you using or maybe you found a tool uh, that somebody else created that is uh, actually fitting your needs um, i would be happy to uh, to learn about it other than that um, that's it for today thank you for watching and as always see you in next video